It's brand for Kickstarter PVC, and in this video, we're going to show you how to properly set up and track your keywords using Helium 10. Let's get into it. So we're going to show you exactly how to set up the keyword tracker as well as look at the market tracker as well. So what you want to do is go to the tool section and keyword tracker is right behind where my face is on the screen. So go ahead and click keyword tracker. And from here, what you want to do is actually go to add products. So first thing you want to do is actually choose the marketplace you're going to do. So we're going to do United States, of course, but if you're going to sign UK, Canada, you've got all these options, even Brazil, UAE, Japan, Netherlands, you can do that as well. If you have a seller account, you can add that on if you want, but of course it's optional. So you want to put the actual ASIN of the product in there. Next, press enter and then press track parent ASIN. If you have child variations underneath, you can add that in as well. So you can track them individually if you want to. And then you come down to the keyword tracking list. Now, I'm assuming that you have your own keyword research. And if you haven't, use Cerebro or Magnet to actually make that master keyword list. But once you actually have that, what you need to do is actually just copy and paste from your list and put these in here. So you can have it remove special characters as well. So if you have anything from the actual list that's gotten in there by mistake, you can just do that. Now press start tracking here and then you're good to go. Now once you've actually added that to your Helium 10 tracker, you just need to click the drop down menu on the product and that's going to show all of the keywords you've just added in. Now the important thing to look at is what the actual organic rank is. So some of these you're going to be ranked really well. So Obviously, you can see the ranking here, but you can see a trend line on this section. So same goes over here, but if you want to look more in depth, you can click on that. It'll actually show you a graph, which we find quite useful. It's obviously going to change daily. There's always new competitors coming in. The ranks are always changing. So you want to see that go up and down primarily around the range you're targeting. So depending on what you're actually going for. Sometimes you're going to be going for position one. Sometimes it might be position five. Depends on the product, depends on the keyword. So obviously for your main search terms that are very relevant, you want to be ranked number one, ranked number two. But for things that are a bit more broad, being ranked 20 isn't the end of the world, but obviously shows that you're ranking well for the category, which is why Amazon's giving you a boost. So obviously you want to look at that. You can also look at competing products, which is quite useful, as well as search volume. Although if you've done your keyword research, you should have an idea on what search volume these keywords are already. But you can go in and have a look what the search volume trend is. So for example, packing tape. So pretty much around the middle of May, you can see there's a bit of a spike. Then of course, during the summer, it slows down a bit. So you can see based on search volume where things are at for that product, where things are at for that keyword. And obviously some keywords such as packing tape are going to do well at different times. If you go for scotch tape, you're going to see that spike that happens around Christmas time. So obviously when you're doing your research, some of these keywords are going to be somewhat seasonal. Some of them aren't. So obviously being it's Q4 coming around the corner, you maybe want to look at ranking for scotch tape in September, October, November. So that way, December, you're good to go because cost per click will be spiking at that time of year. Now, if you also want to get an idea, you can actually scroll a bit more right. You can look at what your sponsored rank is. So this tells me we're not actually ranking sponsored for this. So potentially you want to start running some ads for these keywords. Now, when it actually comes to keyword sales, this is obviously just an estimate, but it will give you an idea on what the market's like. There's other ways you can look, such as in the search query performance data, but Helium 10, I've looked at it on certain keywords. You can compare the Amazon data and there are a lot of similarities. Sometimes the numbers aren't going to be spot on, but just gives you a rough idea. And then, of course, you can go to suggested bids, which is going to be quite important. You can see based on the actual search volume of the term, the actual cost per click is going to be higher. So you do need to keep that in mind. Cost per click will be higher on some of these terms. Sometimes you might want to be going for things that have longer tail search terms and they have a lot lower of a cost per click. And obviously that's going to make it more relevant, which does boost your conversion rate. Now, some of the other things you can do, of course, is add in some of your competitors. So you can have an idea what your competitors are doing as well. You can add those in just under this tab, but you can also have a look at what your suggested keywords are. 
So potentially based on the actual search terms you've got, Helium 10 suggests you should be looking at advertising for these. Organic ranks aren't in a bad place, but you know there's some good keyword sales on some of these terms and search volume, whilst it might be low, these are hyper relevant terms. So you could utilize this just to actually get an idea what maybe your next targets are and where you can potentially scale your budget at. So the next thing to look at is the market tracker. And it's right underneath the keyword tracker, right where my face is. So if you click on that, that'll take you to this page. Now, what you can do is you can go to create a new market. And from here, you'll add in, I guess, your name. So add in, say, uh, packing tape as the name. You can add certain keywords in there so you can add whatever you want. So let's add in packing tape, for example. And then we will go ahead and add the ASIN from packing tape. So let's go ahead and pop that in. And then we go ahead to create a market. Once that's done, this is what should show up. You're going to have a tab like this, which will give you certain suggestions. So if you click on suggestions, it's going to give you certain data based on what your market volume is, what your market share. You can scroll down and look at product suggestions that you should be advertising. You can track certain products as well. So these are competitors that you should be watching. I guess some of these aren't going to be relevant, but you will get an idea on some of the more relevant terms you can be going after. And obviously the more relevant the search terms you have and the more search terms you put in, the more relevant targets you're going to get. So whilst your product might be performing well, you can actually look at how everyone else is doing. Is everyone seem to be having similar performance to you? Well, in that case, that's good. Potentially, you can do a bit better than that. But if you're doing well, everyone else isn't, then shows that you're potentially getting higher market share than you normally do. But this will just give you an idea on what you can actually look at. So you can look at certain things and get a pretty good idea on the market. So if you're looking at starting to use Helium 10, but you haven't already signed up, here's a couple of coupons I can share with you. If you want to go below in the description, we've got the link there. But if you actually sign up and use these coupon codes, you'll get 20% off for six months or a lifetime 10% off coupon. So this is pretty useful, especially if you're just starting out. Helium 10 is one of the most important tools, arguably for Amazon. So make sure you save some money when you actually use it. We hope you found the video useful and hopefully give you some insights on how to properly use Helium 10. If you want more tutorials like this, PPC and Amazon FBA content, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. We've got tons of Amazon PPC coming to you every week. So don't forget to subscribe and stay up to date on what's up and coming and what we've uploaded before. If you're struggling with your Amazon PPC or you just don't have the time to manage it yourself, contact us below, kickstartppc.com. Schedule an audit with us and see how we can help you out. Until the next video, hope you guys have a good one and we'll see you soon. Bye.